Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. We're going to be talking about my favorite light painting tool at the moment. It's the Rainbow Tube. It's a fairly straightforward and simple tool, but it makes incredible, beautiful rainbows when you use it. Um, a lot of people ask me questions about how I made it, what does it look like, how does it work. So I figured I'd give this little intro to the video to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about when I say rainbow tube. Um, so I got two different kinds that I use. Um, the first one is just a simple T12 tube with a thin strip of rainbow fabric down the middle and it makes really beautiful rainbows. The only downside to this is that over time the fabric tends to stretch out because it's kind of an elastic fabric. So when it stretches out, uh, it starts to sag and when it sags, you get this little hump in the middle and it blocks the light and it keeps it going from all the way to the other end of the tube. So you end up getting a little short rainbow on one side and then just white light in the middle and then maybe a little rainbow at the end. So um, to overcome that limitation, I hacked together something that was a little bit different that would keep the fabric uh, totally straight down the tube. Um, I taped it together because we were running around the other day. So let me tape this. And what I did here, I took a T8 tube, which is a little bit uh, smaller diameter. I taped the rainbow fabric on the outside of the T8 and I stuck it inside a T12 tube. And what that does, it keeps it nice and flat all the way down. Um, the only downside to that is your rainbows are a little bit less vibrant. So um, if you know Photoshop, you just go in, you put a curves adjustment layer on there and you can make it pop again. Um, but it doesn't pop straight out of camera as much as this version does. Um, because there's less plastic in between the fabric and the uh, light. So this one just pops a little more straight out. But this one is more reliable and I like using it when we're going to um, sort of rugged places because I don't have to fiddle with it, it's ready to go and I can always bring back the rainbows in the edit. So um, the next part of the video, we take this new contraption down to the beach. Uh, it's the San Luis Pass with our buddy Dan Joyce and an all, as always, Julianne. So enjoy. And if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, help us out. Cheers.